Uh, my debut, which is Mother Joyce <coughs> Grand Sir. So much. Yes, yeah, we're until us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us pure. That thy way many be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Let the nation be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nation upon earth. Sila. Let all the let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. That concludes the 67th The 67th Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the Son, and the Son, and the Lord. We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. Before Jehovah's Lord, in each and bow with sacred joy. Acknowledging the Holy Spirit of God that is in this place Hallelujah. to my grandfather, Apostolic Patriarch, to the Episcopate Father, to Chief Apostle, or uh, to my uncle Bishop Kurt, to all bishops, all ministers of the clergy, to all mothers, brothers and sisters in Christ, to the mother of the church, my nurse, and the thanksgiver, pleasant. Good morning. Good morning. I deem it a privilege and an honor to be here with you. You tell me about it some weeks ago, and then my mother says she see it in the cloth store, and you remind her to tell that boy to come to the Thanksgiving. So I'm here. Okay. Like what I want to say to you is this. Sometimes we are too caught up with the greats. We are caught up a lot of times with being fruitful. But what is the important thing is that grapes just have to go through a process. It just have to be squeezed. And it has to go through something that is called fermentation. So what I'm saying is that, Mother Joyce, that through it all, as they squeezed you, because Baptists have a way, they just squeeze. My God. But I'm glad and I thank God that the end product thereof was the wine. Hallelujah. Jesus, on his way with his mother, they went to a wedding. And they was having a grand time. Yes. And the wine that they had, the Bible says that it, 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 it went out. It was not that. Ran out, man. But Jesus do a piece of mystery. 
he turned the very water. And that wine that he gave, they said it was the best. Teacher Joyce, let you be the best wine. So that when they come thirsty, looking for some kind of relief, because wine, we just drink wine to feel nice, to relieve something. <laughs> yes? That when they partake of you, Auntie Joyce, Teacher Joyce, that they would be relieved. Something must go. Amen? Amen? So you have to make sure that you preserve yourself. Wine does be put in barrels over a period of time so that the wine would have a certain kind of substance so it is good sometimes to stay by yourself sometimes it's good to set aside yourself so that when you come now I could be able to partake of a different kind of wine. Amen. It is time we as spiritual people we, we be different. Not the same wine every time. I don't want a five dollars wine. I don't want a ten dollars wine. What I'm saying, I don't want the same thing all the time. The wine must be of a difference. I must get a chateau. Oh yes. Or Pinot Noir. Somebody. Or a Shiraz. It must be of a difference. So I come in. The same nurse that you nursed me are coming because I come in to get something. I came to receive of something from you. So that I, in my journey, would get some relief. So this wasn't just for you. But I came so that I could partake. And as I receive, I thank God for you. Because I'm claiming it, faith believing that I'm going to receive that relief. So I want God to bless you, Teacher Joy. I want God to keep you. Yes. Long time I see the spirit shake. I see the little jig. Hallelujah. You still have it. You ain't old and you ain't cold. Hallelujah. So we know that God is keeping you. Pray for me as I pray for you in no other name but in Jesus. Jesus. Beloved, we have a, a, a brother that um, came all the way from Canada because he has to be here to be a part of our Mother Joyce's um, celebration. And I want to give him way. That is one of our that is one of our Little, 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 little brother out of pearly days, pearly and fitzy and then you understand? But he get big now and he, he, he come to jar up with me the other day and tell me, my uncle say, all right, meet me. Praise the Lord, my beloved brother in Jesus Almighty name. Solomon and Nathan and Jesus called the glory hallelujah. Solomon and Nathan and Jesus called the glory hallelujah. To the saints of Almighty God, to this master of this home, Bishop Kurtz, to the apostate patriarch, Bishop Ashton, 
There is so much vague names I can call. Bishop Murray's, what King Papa Bishop Brandt, to the saints of Almighty God, all that dwell within and all can hear my voice, to teach you Mother Dion, to Mother Joyce, God's blessing. Um, not for no lengthy conversation, because I can't talk about wine. I don't know what is Pinankua and Shiraz and all these things. Nice things, nice things. <laughs> but I know, my choice that God is good. Yes. 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 And I, I know there is a woman one day set at a table. It was for a purpose. Right? Because there was many queens set table to be headed many men. Yes. <laughs> But Mother Joyce, I want you to continue to trust God. And whatever your heart desire, may God grant it unto you. All you do have to trust. You know I'm exhausted. I've been in one place sitting all day, quarreling like I have to be by Mother Joyce and only watching the time. You know, and I came here sick because I said I have to go to Mother Joyce thing. Right? And that is the love that had me leaving the snowy place in an airport waiting all night, fly delayed, 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 and I still come and then get soaked in the rain here. Right? But I still come out because God is good. You know, because he's a good woman. You know, you know, there's different type of wine. The longer it age, the same better. But then there's a one what is called dry. They say it, it, it kinda better when it eats very, very long. So dry up mother joy, so they age well with you. You see sometimes we we set little things and you know we we have sent out. You know, but God said, when you give from the heart, He will give back as well. Amen. Right? And I pray God that when you give from your heart, my joys, He will return it sevenfold unto you. Amen. Right? You know, I was coming here today, and a few nights ago, you know, I don't dream. Nobody. Except my parents. And I got up and I told Teacher Debbie, you know, I dreamt I was wearing a straw hat. And when I look, I see you up here. And all of a sudden, you take the hat off my head and you put it on yours. I said, Joyce, you're trying to rob me on. <laughs> <laughs> like he's a thief. <laughs> and Tate say, you, should, you know, you should carry a hat for Joyce. I said, no, me, my dear. She don't take the hat already in the spirit. She can go with it. <laughs> I ain't fighting Joyce for no hat. <laughs> I don't want no hat. But I pray God that you keep covering your head under the yes. blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 I don't know your position, I don't know. But I pray God you keep covering your head under the God. Amen. And God go work it out for him and Joyce. Nice. You see, with one man to work it out fast. But God is taking time to do it. Yes. All we have to do is have patience yes. and be willing. Yes. And continue to trust that process that God has brought you thus so far, not to leave you by the way, but to continue to carry you along the way. You see, you know, many a times that we, and I, when I say we, I include myself, when we reach a spot and we feel like something, we think that God no longer here, He going some way. Truly, man. You know, we start to become impatient. And we start to take it upon we own will to do we own thing. All the time God still they waiting. Right? We just have some patience and trust God. Continue to try to teach a kid. It is good to be in this home for the first time. It's beautiful. It needs a little AC, I will donate one. <laughs> You know, but, you know, I love you all. Continue to do God's work. <laughs> we praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Beloved, we, we, we sort of coming, coming, coming down. At this time, I want to give way to a minister, Dion, that she would say 
you two words in Jesus Almighty. Oh, thank you. Ah, ah, Who, have been, who I'm in love with. Praise the Lord. The king yeah. of the whole. Well, God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> and to the waiting company. Lord. And to Teacher Joyce, Queen Mother Teacher Joyce. Let's call her by her right name. Praise yeah. the Lord. Here's who she is in the spirit. And there's a special lady in my life. Where's Mother Diane? Is she here? <laughs> Mother Diane, I owe you my life. Whenever I go home, Teacher Joyce, make sure this woman is in that church with me. Amen. And I want to thank you. Oh. Amen, amen, amen. Put your hands together. There is no time when I go or play. And I feel that I'm alone. Teacher Joyce, make sure that woman is there to cover me. And I am grateful. I'm grateful. Tonight is a glorious night. And when I think of what it is I am seeing in front of me, it's the covenant. A seal agreement between you and God. Amen. I believe the first time you may have come in contact with the covenant is the Bank of Jordan. Would I be correct? Hallelujah. But from that day to now, I behold elevation. And when I give properly, it is not just elevation, but it's divine elevation. Praise the Lord. What do I mean by that? Well, if it's divine elevation, you see a lot of people put table on top of table and they feel that like they're big. The altar that you have just laid here for us is under divine order. Divine elevation comes with the assignment for those who are assigned to God's kingdom, God's people here on earth. What an assignment. Huh? So that people, you have to be in alignment always with God's covenant. If you're not in alignment, then we cannot. Because we come to be a witness of your elevation. I pray God tonight. Because of the elevation, if I were you. I know if King Shepherd was here, he was going to do that. He'd have washed that head of yours. He'd have washed that skull of yours. So that you could remind yourself in days to come. What is your purpose here on earth? You see, Esther was a brave woman. She walked into the king's chamber. Huh? Tonight you pray. But she went in with the help of others. Who was fasting and praying with her. And at a certain time when victory was near, she laid a table, a banquet table. And some people say it was the banquet table of requests to make requests. I see tonight you had some people make requests. You see, we just do things and we don't understand where it came from. You walk in in divine order. 
I pray God tonight if you write just because you, you could write a piece of paper, you're on your own. But God gives every one of us a key. I pray when you picked up the pen or the pencil to write, you picked it up with your key. Because it's a door that she has opened for you to enter in. What is your covenant tonight? What is your needs and what is it you want? We come to rejoice, yes. We come to prop with her, but she opened a door for each one of us here. Amen. Be grateful. Some of us don't even know how to walk in gratitude or big or have gratitude. We forget what God has done for us. As soon as we get out of the trouble. As soon as we get what we want. But each one of us have a need and have a want. Yes. She said, write it down. Mm. But how did you write it? Huh? You just scribbled something down without even pouring your heart into it. Let us be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. For those of you who are conscious, remember the, the grape is the only fruit that you have to match for it to become fine wine. So if you get it mashed in the house of God, think of yourself as fine wine. If you get it mashed at work, think of yourself as fine wine. Stay on course. Stay on course because the covenant, there's more covenants that we can talk about, but tonight is about the blood. There's several covenants. Huh? So I want to glorify God for you. This is not a form nor a fashion. It, this costs money. This costs plenty money. And only just come in here and scribble along something on a piece of paper. I watch some of your faces, you know. I say they're not even conscious. Uh, but God in his infinite goodness will have mercy yeah. on us still. Because it is the table of mercy also. Amen. Stay connected, I say. Amen. Stay connected to the true vine. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, at this time, um, our chief apostle will give Mother Joyce two words because he has to leave for work in a little bit. After him, we will have um, my son, my son, King Brent. He's sleeping, he'll get up. And after King Brent, um, uh, the Episcopal Father will bring us the word for the morning and then my brother will do our closing bidding in Jesus. Praise the, Praise the Lord. I know most of us, let me greet, let me greet the angel of this house, my brother and friend Bishop Kirk. God bless. To the uh, Episcopal Father, Bishop Maurice, to the Patriarch, amen. Amen to all men, women of God, to Mother Joyce. Not for lengthy conversation. I know everybody been going all day and we all had multiple events we attended for the already. Yeah. So everybody's like, okay, this is the last one. Yeah. But I promised Mother Joyce I was coming and at any cost I had to be here to just show my face. Even if just to show my face. Not to say that, no, no. But uh, to you, Mother Joyce, let me just encourage you two minutes quickly. Oftentimes, you know, we come out to these kind of settings and uh, we, may, we may not understand everything or why this will give you a, such a table to do. And everybody, we can talk about all the different butler wines, all the different process, all the different things we go through. But one thing I would say to you, to every period of your life, yes. it's the same process with wine. Yes. It goes through periods, it goes through stages, through every period of your life that journey you pursue. 
and 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 you are at a season where at, at times you know um we come and we go and we come and we go this time let your wine stay mm. wait nobody wants to share i will tell she well no need to stay let me see what i want to say this time you, you, you come back Tough. it's not a play can I say that? Yes. No, you, you, because you want to get up and you feel well. Or when, when she gets inspired, she performs, she says, she tells her, she says, but what's the sense of doing all of that? And then, as soon as it break, they, they, they're a little rough, or your wine, they're a little dry, you're ready to go. This time, you can't go nowhere. You, have to, you know, don't know what is this. You're at a stage where you're too old to be running. God. Old wine stay still. Yeah. <laughs> old wine don't go all over the place. Old wine just find a place and, and cure and enjoy a season. Yeah. That when the time comes and you sip it, you can taste it. Yeah. It tastes good. Yeah. So you're at a place where now, at stage in the game, where your wine is cured. And when your wine is cured, you can't afford to give any of anybody to drink it. And that's why they pray with the church today. Everybody sipping with wine, and when they're yeah. done, they spit me out because they don't like the taste. Everybody will yeah. like the taste anyway. Yeah, at all. Come now, talk to me now. Everybody will like you, that's what I mean. And you go where you love and where you need it and not where you want it. Because sometimes where you are wanted, there's get tired after a period. But where God plants you, there you shall grow. Amen. Where you plant good grapes, it has grow there. Yes. And when the grapes grow, it has pick it and has harvest it and reap it. And this is how we come to these nice bottle of wine. Oh God, you refine now. We are at the stage where you refine. What more could you do? More than the will of God and the grace of God. So I come to encourage you to tell you, after all you've done, stand. stand. After all you've been through, it's time to stand. stand. It gonna get rough. Stand. Stand. Your bottom might break, and some might run out. Stand up. Yes, sir. Uh, it's all right if the bottom break, yes, because when it run down, it must run down on good soil. Yes, sir. You don't want your white to leak out in a place where it it, it wouldn't see its future. Yes. You want it to leak out of that soil when you hear it done. That same soil grow up brilliant. It, it, it replenish somebody, somebody's life. So at the stage of the majority, what you're doing, you should be pouring into the younger women and them to get them to a better place in ministry, in the faith. Hallelujah. Too many young women, too many young men, and the day nobody, nobody, the elderly woman, these days the Bible says elderly women are supposed to train the young woman. Yes. But where are the elderly women? They want to act like the young woman. Yeah. Your wine is refined, you can yeah. act like yeah. the young woman. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right to dress up and be dancing, you know, but still, you have to be refined. Respect yourself. Know who you are. Yes. Your mother Joyce. Yes. So you're at a yes. stage yes. where you have to come to that place where you accept it. Listen, all the way is Jesus now. Yes. You have been through the press. Yes. You have been through the mill. The hell ain't going away. The Bible says some things is unto death. Some sickness is unto death. And then God gave us some sickness as to be a thorn to remind us who he is to us. That we may not get confused and do your own thing. Jesus, that is you. Hello, Jesus. So I just come to one tonight, you know. But you can't give such a table. And, and, and spread such auspicious and share wine and share out your when you, you see you have to understand the Bible says when Jesus was at the place that he gave him the wine it was the best yeah. so what you're doing now you can't give the best of your service and then still reap the bread of sorrow no, sir. you cannot give the best of your service in this house and still don't understand why you are here it's not about people no more it's not about what they want no more it's about what God called you to do be you do you and the rest let the chip fall because too many of us in position or in ministry not understanding our call and, and here come here go we fighting up we fight up we confused it's too late for you to be confused because your wine is already cured and it's at a place where it's cured you can't you can't you, it, it wouldn't taste no different this wine here in this glass might have a different taste but your wine have a particular taste that when they taste it it's preserve like when, it, it preserves when yes, jesus preserve. christ That's gave right. them the wine it says the best taste the wine so at this season everybody that gave a bottle of wine should go home and put that wine down greedy people that drink everything they get quick yeah. <laughs> but be careful when you're drinking things yes, off the table yes. i wonder if the ask man address for the purpose of doing this ah. All right. Amen. That's just me, you know. 
Amen. Because when you hear you go home and you didn't gaze and you didn't look and peep and see what Kushime she put on here and you go home and you didn't know when you start to drink you're drunk quick quick you didn't ask God no question. Take time to gaze. All I ever should get healing. Amen. So I think that makes you to grab a yard, right? Yeah. But you're not from me no more. That done. I tie up. If you close my tie up, me I tie up now. Mm. It's time to run ministry all the way. Mm. That is it for you. Mm. It makes no sense. You 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 encourage people to come out this seven night and when you're done you're, you're not sure if you want. Mm. Be very sure. <laughs> Be very sure. <laughs> I want you all to lend me a voice, sister night, please. Oh Lord, my God. Conversation to the Apostolic Patriarch, His Excellency Dr. Norris Ashton, to the Episcopal Father Dr. Raymond, to the Chief Apostle, to my spiritual father, Bishop Thompson, to Teacher Lee. Blessed Members in Christ, a blessed night. To the thanksgiver, my elder sister. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God the Father. Now we have heard so many. Yes. We have heard so many conversations, Mother Choice. And to my dear sister, Minister Peter. Blessed You know, we have heard conversations and I just want to reiterate on just one of them. Now, last year I had a celebration. And uh, it was only in Dubai my spiritual father was in Dubai without me. Reminded me how long I back had. And it was 38 years ago. And I know you before them, serving God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I heard about the process and all this about the wine. I heard about the request. And you know, you season into this thing. And at times you need to, to separate one from the other because when you're going to speak to God, for yourself and not another, you have to know what to put before him. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So therefore, if you did not put grapes there and we didn't see grapes, we know the process of grapes to wine. We know how that get there. Hallelujah. But I want you to continue serving God. Because you could not have done this if your heart was not indicted in a good matter. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to entreat you to love God and respect God for who God is. A lot of times we don't respect God for who he is at all. Because we don't know who God is. Hallelujah. Amen. But workman for God should not lose faith, but know what God is like. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is what you ought to know. You should know by now what God is like. Nobody will have to tell you that. But you give it from your heart and God will answer it for continuously as always. You don't need nobody to come and sanctify and bless. Because before you even think about it, God bless them. Hallelujah. I, was, I am so happy to be in my father's house tonight. I am very happy tonight. Because nobody could put me out. Hallelujah. Bless God. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Yes. Beloved, at this time we will have our our Episcopal Father congregation. Please stand as we bring the Episcopal Father to the floor to give us a word in Jesus Almighty name. My times are in God's hand. I leave them there. My My times are in God's My God, I will My life Keep standing. I will read a scripture for you all. Look not thou upon the wine when it's red, when it's given its color in the cup, when it's moved itself aright. At the last it bite like a serpent and sting like an adder. Thy eyes shall behold a strange woman, and thy heart shall utter privileged things. Yea. Thou should be as that that lies down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lies upon the top of the, the mass. They have stricken me, shall thou say, I was not sick. They have beaten me, and I fell, I fell it not. When shall I awake? I will seek it. Yet again, here end of the scripture concerning Five verses to the honor and the glory of God. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning. Of the of the of the of the I will now take this opportunity to introduce you to the man of God with the word of God, Episcopate Father Dr. Raymond Morris. Praise the Lord. My Lord, my God, my Hear me, bless Savior, when I call. Hear me, bless Savior, when I call, Lord. Hear yeah, me, and from thy dwelling place. and from thy dwelling For down the riches of thy grace.
From God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To our Father, the Apostolic Patriarch, Dr. Norris V. Ashton. Bless the Lord. To my big brother, Bishop Kirk. God bless. To all ministers of God, friends and family that are here, the children in our midst, grace tonight. To you, Teacher Joyce, bless the night. We have heard so many words tonight, but. I said to my congregation, Bishop Kurt, one must understand when it is time for you to isolate yourself. And I've gotten so many invitations to speak at functions and I declined. Because one must understand when it's time for you to replenish yes. yourself. To you, Teacher Joyce, I want to say to you tonight that there are a process. Time would not afford me tonight to speak to you at length. Yes. But there is a process that takes us to where we are today. Yes. And many people speak about it in different ways. But I just want to speak about the crushing part in the process of this. But that's the part that many people cannot cross over to get to this finished product. Many people, Bishop, can go through the normal process of harvesting. We can go through the process of picking. But when it comes a time for the crushing, Many of us cannot go through that period. Amen. So then you can't tell me that you are wine. Because you must go through that process. Mm. And let me give you a little example. Jesus one time with his disciples was sitting around a table. Mm. He understand that in the process of this, that somebody here will betray me. Yes. I'm speaking about crushing. Amen. 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 And while he was sitting at the table, one that was sitting with him betrayed him. Yes. I don't know if I reached there yet. Mm -hmm. I can speak for me. Yes. But I'm getting there. In the process of this crushing, Jesus still take bread and break it. And break it. Amen. Oh Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes. 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 And he asks the question, somebody here will is about to betray me. Yes, man. One turn to the other and say it's me. Is it me? Yes. Guilty conscience. Take a moment with me. I'm going somewhere. Yes. <laughs> somebody else says me. <laughs> Some of us are so bold faced in the face yes. of the act that we do yes. that Judas say, Lord, it's me. Say, I didn't yes. say, you say. Yes. Yes. But whatever you have to do, do it with me. me. Amen. Yes. I want to talk about crushing, you know, but yes. time is going to afford me. Go ahead. <laughs> you have to come back. The same Jesus that sat down with the disciples. Sometimes we conscience does beat me so much. Yes. 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 That we know we do the act. Yes. But we still ask it. Yes. If it's me. Yes. What I do? 
Mm. What to do? Mm. Can't be wine just so. Mm -hmm. no. Beat them up. Judas realized what he did. He ran out of the house. Yes. And decided to give back the 30 pieces of silver. See, so yes. have some here. Yes. Mm. <laughs> huh? Bishop Branty ran back to the scribes and the Pharisees yes. and tried to give yes. back. But there are some things in our life, in the process of this wine thing, that we can't give back. Yes, you just got to deal with it. Yes. That's why I say I don't want to deal with harvesting. I want to deal with crushing because when you reach there, you can't say I want to be crushed no more. Yes. Mm. Jesus. Can't say it. Yes, sir. When they start to pun you. Yes, sir. And crush you, you can't say you ain't want it no more. My God. Turn in the, in the crush the uh, man. Amen. They have a sin you could say, I ain't really want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but when they start to crush you, Jesus. you can't get away from that. Mm -hmm. And if you can't take that, then you can't be wine. No. No. I'm just gonna talk in the way it is. Can't guess it. <laughs> can't guess it. You can't take that, you can't be one. Amen. Jesus again in the process of this crushing. He decided after this to take a walk with his disciples. Yes. But everybody can't be in your business, would you like to be in? Yes. Yes. Right. He decided to walk with the eleven. Yes. Come remember? This fella gone. Yeah. And while he was walking with the eleven. He said, fellas, stay here, but Peter, James, and John, come with me. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. He was about to be crushed because his time was coming close for his crucifixion. Yes, sir. When you're talking about wine, you're talking about that, you know. Yes, sir. Well, you've got to kill some things to be able to come like yes, this. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Bible says that Peter, James, and John decide to journey with Jesus. But when Mother Joyce, the crushing faced him so, and he realized that death come in. My God. And he had to go through that by himself. He said, fella, stay here. You can't come with me. There was no hope. The woman Esther was brave enough that she will go into the king's palace and fight for her people. There are some times you must know how to charm the things that you want. Hello, somebody. Uh. Esther realized that she had the king's ear. Yes, sir. Yes. And she capitalized on that because she wanted something. Oh, yeah. There are times you want things that you have to utilize and humble yourself yes, to get the things that you want. You know. Peter Joyce, I just want to tell you this. I'll come back and speak to you again. 
in the process of your crushing I want you to be humble that wherever God leads you stay there yes, sir. there are many people in the wine process when they go to the crushing period as dying mm -hmm. that's not a problem because then it comes back alive but because they don't understand the crushing period they die there oh. that's all yes i want to it would be remiss of me to do it and i wouldn't ask your brother to do it but i'll ask the patriarch to do it because to let you set a table such like this and don't pour on you yes and allow you to go out there for you to drink not of a cup but drink out of your hand nice. the reason why it is that wine comes a thing that after a while it's some stronger than liquor sometimes mm -hmm. yes, because when it is cured so good mm -hmm. there are some place in Pennsylvania that they call and you should know the, the wine that it does have wine taste yes. some fellas love to go there every day not so yes. bishop yes. because when they taste it time they don't taste everything yes. they're drunk, they're drunk. They're drunk. Yes. head nice not so yes. and it's free yes. that is the thing yes. but i'm praying god tonight that the spirit of god would allow you to just let God crush you. Yeah. We just say that we want to follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. When he was on the cross, they nail him. They pierce him. They crush him. And yet that man turned around and said, Father. Bishop, I don't know about you, I ain't reached there yet. Oh my God. I might get there sometime. I don't know if I'll reach there yet. Mm. Because I show if somebody mash your toe right now is a different story. Yes. So you don't mean you ain't reached there yet. Yes. But I'm getting there. Mm. Holy Ghost. Yes. The crushing period is hard. Nice. We just love the finished product. Yes. Mm. Everybody that leaving here tonight leaving with a bottle mm -hmm. and then prior venture as the apostle said might drink it quick <laughs> some of them might put it down and chill it mm -hmm. but this went through so much process mm -hmm. to be able to get where it is mm -hmm. my last thought for you before i ask the patriarch to come covenant is a dangerous thing mm -hmm. yeah. When husband and wife stand up before the altar, let us take it lightly. Yeah. Because after the man do something or the woman do something, they leave and go on and they say that. Yeah. But they stand up before the altar and say, we are one. Yeah. For better for gold, for richer for power, and they take that day they'll drill long like Diana. Yeah. They're excited. Yeah. I preached about nearly 10 years ago by Bishop Kester in his anniversary. And the theme was, today is the marriage. Today is the wedding. The marriage begins tomorrow. And it's true. The day of the wedding, you have a lot of people around and excited. But after that, it's you and the man going home. Then you realize he does snow hand. He does throw your towel on the ground. He don't come home on time. But you have to deal with it. You don't realize she can't make cuckoo. But that's the marriage. And there is nobody there. All the bridesmaids and groomsmen and the DJ and everybody is nobody there. You have to deal with this. And that is marriage. That is covenant. Some people may not understand why you stay in a relationship so long sometimes. But it's not because sometimes every day is good. But you remember sometimes, this will I do. I must remember. And so the covenant with God is something that we must realize that 
with the stalking at the banks of a Jordan. We made a covenant not with the pastor, not with the mother, but we made a covenant with God. I don't know what you're asking God for tonight. But whatever in your covenant state that you are asking him for, Teacher Joyce, I say these words to you tonight. When you receive the blessing, which is coming, when he give you what you want, whatever, let your dying day continue to serve you. Amen, amen, amen. Don't ever allow anybody to steal your job. Don't allow anybody to take away what God has given to you. There was a woman one day, her husband died. Her husband had owed. The man appear and tell the wife, I need my money. I'm paraphrasing. And if I don't get my money, I go kill your son. The woman called the prophet and said, my husband has been faithful so long. You go allow my son to die? The prophet gave the woman an instruction. You know what he tell the woman? I want you to go and get as much jar as you could. Fill them with water. Go in your house, you and your children alone. He didn't say nobody else, you know. Lock the door. That was the instructions. And pray to God. After the woman followed the instructions, that water turned to oil. That she could have paid her debt and had enough. Whatever the instructions is, Mother Joyce. Sometimes we like to get too much people involved. The instruction was you and your children alone. Go in the house. Lock the door. And pray to God. I'm praying God. I'm just want the patriot to come. Stand beloved. <laughs>
because he lives. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow. But I got another day, another hour. Another hour. Love and sun come before you. Are you better, Lord? Nothing in our hands we bring. But no God simply to the cross we bring. Make it we come in, Lord. To the fortress. Helpless we are looking to the fortress. To the pontinent, no. no. oh, wash us, Savior, oh, teach our joys, teach our joys. Oh, 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 Look at the woman so oh, 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 and crying out of the refuge of our life. Help me, Lord, to have me help this woman. Believe and not alone, alone today. Not alone is you. But I pray to your God, still support and comfort us. If family is so close, my Lord. Father, we thank you for them, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you for traveling mercy. Traveling mercy. Father, we thank you for your saving grace. Ah, look at me, brother Bishop. Lord. Lord. Ah, look at the man, so wrestling like Jacob. Promise never, never to let, let you go. go. Ah, darling God. Darling God. All God's people before, before you. Before you know. You know, we are only servants within you. Help us, Lord, to accept our purpose. Accept our purpose now. You alone know what is our purpose. Lord. Lord. Oh God, help us to accept it, Lord. Lord. Oh God, look at that table spread. Yeah. Look at that table spread. Ah, loving Savior. Loving Savior. Ah, show us your blessing, Lord. Show us your blessing, Lord. Bless it, Lord, in the name of the Lord. Glory, Father. to separate one from, from another. another not from your present message but only to go to our homes above our house sit within every driver's seat Lord. keep their hands up on the wheel keep their eyes up on the road Father, hear us and bless us Lord. and our little children around uh -huh. suffer them to come to you for me them not my Lord, sanctify and save. Sanctify and save. Please and all other men shall be saved. Servant, son, leave at your right hand. Lord, let us know thy servant and peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which I was prepared before the face of all people. To be a light, to light the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Praise God from whom all, all blessings go. Praise, praise him, our creatures here below. Praise him, our God, the angelic host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. For this our spiritual food moves because of Jesus' blood. And that is our souls be given the bread of life and down from heaven for Christ's sake. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide us now and forever. Bless the Lord. Oh my 
my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Lord, watch between me and While we absent one from another. Lord, watch between me and we absent one from another. Lord, watch between me and we absent one from another. Lord, watch between me and another. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. The Lord made his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us all and grant us a blessing. Go in peace. Good night, beloved. Good morning. God bless you. Blessing. Amen. Amen. Amen.